Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where we are discussing scenarios about the Azure Data Factory. Today in this video, we will talk about a scenario wherein we would like to merge files into a single file. So for an example, let's say I have a storage account which, which has got multiple CSV files and a file could be into a same folder or it could be into a different folder in the same container. So I have a let's say color file available in the subfolder as a new and also available in this two files as in color folder. And what if I would like to merge the content of these file into a single file at the destination? How do I do that with the help of ADF? Now to perform this activity, I'm going to use this ADF instance as you can see on my screen. You can click here on this icon to launch the ADF subdomain and that will open the ADF onto a new tab like this. Now I want to create a new pipeline so that I can perform the activities of merge. To create a new pipeline, click on this author icon and here you can click or uh, here you can see all your pipelines which are existing av already available or you can create new pipeline by clicking on these three dots new pipeline that will open a canvas with the activities and the pipeline canvas board now as we are talking about the merge activity and as a part of the merge we want to copy the file from a source location which is this story account to a destination location which is this story account so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the copy data activity from this activities panel which is available inside the move and transform section so let's drag this copy data activity to the canvas now this copy data activity requires certain configurations to be provided for an example you have to provide the source location and source location you can specify with the source data set so in the ADF uh, there is no configuration called the source location it is also all it is configured with the help of source data set so here as we are talking about dealing with only the csv so i'm going to create a data set which is only work with the csv file so let's you can use the existing data set from this drop down but to create to create a new one you can click here on the create new or you can also create a data set from this section let's create a new data set of type azure plus storage and i'm going to choose a file format as in csv as we are talking about merging multiple csvs so let's provide the name of your data set let's say data set uh, or these ds stand for data set and then let's say csv merge And then next you have to provide the link service link service tells you where is your source data and how do you want to connect to that source location so that's the two information can be provided by the link service so i have already created a link service which is going to point to my source storage account so if you would like to learn more about how to create a link service please follow my detailed video which i've created on the link service link is given in the description now to browse the containers available within the storage account you can click on the browse option that will browse all the containers which are there inside this storage account so let's click on this input container because that is where our files are as you can see just to show you these are our files inside this container input container inside the storage account now it is showing all the files which are available with, along with the subfolders this is a subfolder new and inside this new folder also we have these files so i'm going to stick to the root because i want to merge the content of these files as well as the files available within this new right so let's click on ok so that's pointing to the container no subdirector specified as we are talking about csv header it says that uh, make this row as an header which is okay for this demonstration so source is set up successfully now as we are talking about multiple files so this option will not work as we know 
previously as well in the demonstration we have tried using this option but this does not work so let's to show you if i try and validate it, it it will give me an error that it's not going to work so let me just close this and try and use this wildcard option because i want to copy all my files which is starting from color and which has the option as a csv right so this is going to be the wildcard operator i want to use remember that if you are try trying to copy the file from subdirectory then this option needs to be selected which is copying the file recursively which is by default selected okay next you have to specify the destination so i have the destination which i can select from so if you have existing destination as in data set you can select it or if you want you can create a new destination which is of type storage account csv let's say we will call it as a dest blob csv right and then destination storage account link service again i can browse it and it will show me the destination location container click on ok and that is it i do not want to let's say now that is it now you can simply test this by clicking on this debug options and then that will give you an idea how your uh, pipeline is behaving so let me just debug it without making any further changes just to show you so as soon as i click on the debug it will run a new pipeline id and you can see the activity which is currently executing getting executed uh, which is a part of your pipeline so the pipeline is successfully completed i can see that it has copied three files and at the destination it has written three files right so let me just refresh the destination location you can see that it has by default copied these two files and then it has also copied the recursively the subfolder which is new and inside the new file it has copied the file starting from color and ending with csv right so basically it has preserved the hierarchy of these files let me just delete this because we that is what we do not want because we want a single output which has a merge or the, which is merging the content of all these csv file into a single output file right that is what our objective so let me just delete this and see how do we do that now to merge the content of the uh, the file into output we will go to the destination and from the copy behavior we will specify that we should be merging the file right as soon as i select the merge the file and i debug again let's see how the behavior looks like so the activity is completed now this time you see that it is trying to read three files but when it is writing it it is writing it into a single file that is the difference because now this time we are merging the file right now if you would like to see the further details what exactly it has written at the output you can span this and you can see the difference of or the different data about the activity or the run which is being performed so let me just refresh the target again you can see that this time it has created a file with a new name because as we are trying to copy a file from multiple uh, copy the content from multiple files and pushing it to a destination uh, so it is not sure what is should be the name of the file in this case it has uh, auto generated the name so, which means that if i'm going to rerun again it will create another file with a different unique id right but another thing to remember or to note here is it has created a file with this extension right so why it has happened because in the sync of uh, the default file extension was .txt now we have not added this extension it was there previously as well but now it is why in the previous run it has created with csv whereas in the this run when we select the copy behavior as in merge now it has converted to txt why this setting was not applied previously so when you do not specify anything at that, that point of time i think this settings are not taken care by the pipeline which means that whatever was the extension uh, specified at the source location it is copying same at the destination location let me just rerun again to show you because this time it is not merging so it's going to copy the same source code file without changing any 
extension type and then move it to the destination location right so the activity is completed let me just refresh it again you can see that it has copied the file with extension csv so it's just simply copy and paste no changes at all not in not no changes in the name no changes in the extension as is right now as we are looking for merge and we are looking for merge with a target file type as in csv so what we have to do is we have to specify this file type as in csv and then we have to specify the merge the activity as in merge so let me just rerun again so our activity is completed successfully again we will see that it is copying the three files but pasting it or generating only one file as an output let's refresh that if it has generated a csv file yes it has generated a csv file now if i try and download this file you will see the changes the file which was available at the source location it has got 16 record and now if i try and open this file which has so this is the file see that it has got the record from all the files so if i click on double click on white so it, it has copied the same content because all the files have the same type of content so it has copied basically content from all the three files and then merge it at the end now it is okay so so that was about merging activity now what if i have different csv is which has a different structure altogether and if i'm trying to merge or if i select merge option for all those csv what will happen actually when you try and copy the file and merge the files together this will still work but it will generate or it will just copy and paste your file data one after other like once your first file's data is ended it will copy the data from the second file and then it will create all those data. So let me just show you what do I mean by that. It will look like this. You can see that. So first it has copied all the color files, right? And then after that it has copied this data, account and finance. And then it has copied this data, advertising, advertising, public relations. So, so basically a data from different, different files. And then it, it is appended one after other. And that's your that is what uh, your output will look like right so of course you may not have such a requirement wherein you would like to copy the data or merge the data from one file to another file so you have to be very careful when you are using the merge file do you really want to merge a file data from a specific source which has a similar structure then it's fine but if it has a different structure then you have to think about it so that's it in this video just to summarize we have seen how to we use the copy activity in your pipeline to merge the content of multiple source into a single destination file i hope you found this useful if it is please give it a thumbs up do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thanks for watching it see you in the next video